Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer software testing interview question 260. That is, what are the different phases of software? Let me answer. Software has several phases. While getting developed or during or while getting released into the market, software has to go through several phases. There are five such phases. They are pre-alpha phase, which is the first phase of the software. In this pre-alpha phase, which is the first phase of the software, developers will just start working on the software, okay? They will start developing or coding the software. They'll write the code for developing or building the software with the help of the requirements or any other documents. Here, testing will not start. In the first phase of the software, the testing won't start. And also, no software will be released into the market during this phase. In the pre-alpha phase, just the development will start, guys. That's it, okay? Even testing also will not start. The next phase, that is the second phase of the software is the alpha phase, which is the second phase. Here, testing will start. Testing starts in the alpha phase of the software. So, all levels of testing will start here, okay? Here, only development happened. Even developers have not performed unit and integration testing in this pre-alpha phase, but in alpha phase, all levels of software testing, that is uh, unit level testing, integration testing, system testing, user acceptance testing, all testings will be performed. Developers will be first performing the unit level testing. Then, then after, after unit uh, testing, developers will perform integration testing. Then software testers will test the entire software as a whole. And uh, we generally call that as system testing. And uh, finally, user acceptance testing, which is the last level of the testing will also start, but it is partially done guys. Under user acceptance testing, we have alpha testing and beta testing, but in this alpha phase, only one part of the user acceptance testing, that is alpha testing will be performed. Beta testing won't be done, okay? Beta testing is not done in alpha phase, only alpha, alpha testing is performed. So what is the alpha testing under the user acceptance testing? As we already know, the client side business people, okay? The client side business people who has the business knowledge and who generally interact with the end users and customers and knows the uh, end user needs and expectations well, will come up with a checklist, okay? Checklist of their expectation of the software and sit with the developers and see whether whatever the software they have developed is according to the checklist or not. If it is not, they will inform the developers to, to modify the software according to the their expectations, okay? So these business people may have more idea than the developers, right? So they know that what end user wants expectations and needs, then know well. Accordingly, they will get the software modified, okay? As part of the alpha testing. Client side business people will move to the developer side and this kind of alpha testing will be done by the client side business people. Testing team will also support during these changes. Here guys, all the features need to be completed as part of the alpha phase, that means uh, according to the client specified requirements, according to the user needs and expectation checklist provided by the client side business people, all the features need to be completed, okay? Then only alpha testing will be completed. Here also software won't be released into the market, guys, okay? In pre-alpha phase, the software is not released into the market. In alpha phase also, software is not released into the market. In pre-alpha phase, just development started. In alpha phase, different levels of testing started except beta testing. Now, after the second phase, alpha testing, uh, sorry, alpha phase of the software, beta phase of the software will start, which is a third phase of the software where for the first time, the software will be released into the market to the end users and customers, but the intention is different. It's not for selling the software in the market, okay? It's for testing purpose, okay? The company behind the software wants the customers, that, uh, that is the real customers or end users to use this particular software, okay? One, and collect the appropriate feedback, okay? Proper feedback want to collect, okay? So because the end users and customers will use the software at different location, different environment, different configurations, different different uh, situations and all, and because of this real-time use, a lot of feedback the company may get. That's the reason the software is released here. Software is not released for real purpose. The software is released for getting beta testing done by the end users and customers and for collecting the feedback, realistic feedback from the end users and customers. So here the company who is releasing the software as part of beta testing to be done by the end users and customers may decide to go with open beta release or closed beta release in this phase. So open beta release means 
the software will be released for beta testing for the entire public that is for the complete public around the globe for closed beta means only for limited group of end users or customers only the software will be released and the feedback will be collected okay that's what is beta phase once the feedback is uh, collected and uh, beta testing is done and uh, uh, the realistic feedback is collected from the end users and customers in beta phase then the next phase will start that is release candidate phase okay the next phase release candidate phase will start guys okay in the release candidate phase okay the release candidate phase is the fourth phase of the software here also again the software will be released okay again the software will be released to the customers for testing purpose only okay in beta phase also software is released for testing purpose in release candidate phase also for the second time the software will be released to the customers for the, for the same purpose for the same beta testing purpose to collect the realistic feedback okay to get more confidence so after incorporating this uh, feedback into the software again the software is released for the second time to see if the software is now meeting the end user needs and expectations or not if not if anything is missed if any other needs and expectations of the users are missing that feedback can be collected realistic way okay here also the software the company behind the software may release the software as open beta release or closed beta release open beta release means for a complete public closed beta release for only for the limited group of end users or customers it will be released okay so there are several uh, release names uh, given for the software that is released in the rc phase that is release candidate phase that is the fourth phase the different names that are provided uh, different companies follow different call this uh, release as different names uh, some one company may call that as rc release some company may call that as silver release some company may call it as gamma release while releasing the rc phase some company may call it as delta release while releasing in the release candidate phase and finally once the release once the feedback is collected in the release candidate phase and accommodated into the software the software will reach the final version okay the final stage that is stable phase okay where the you know right a, a complete feedback received in the beta and release candidate phase is actually accommodated according to user needs and expectations and client requirements are also properly fulfilled and uh, this is the final phase of the software guys here finalized version of the software the last version of the software which has gone through the, all the previous phases of the software where the client requirements are met the user needs and expectations are met will be finally released into the market with the actual purpose this time for the first time actual purpose not for testing purpose actually the software is getting released into the market the end users or end customers who want to purchase the software will purchase and use it for their daily use in this final version of the software and the name of the release is generally okay we generally call this release in the stable phase of the software as general availability release so these are the different phases of the software okay so that is pre alpha phase alpha phase beta phase release candidate phase and stable phase so hope guys you understood the different phases of the software so that's all for this session in the next session i am going to answer another software testing interview question for you till then see you bye bye